Well, it's not exactly paddling weather yet, but we can smell spring in the air. So this week's vlog is going to be about shoulder injuries and paddling. And it's probably time to start getting our boats ready for paddling. Let's start by going to one of the best paddling races in the world, the Canadian Ocean Racing Championships. So more particularly, let's look at Kenny, who's in the second boat there, and look at his body position and where his shoulders go. We'll come back to that a little bit later. So a quick little anatomy lesson. We follow the green line here. This is the thoracic spine. And the collarbone is along here where the green line curves around. And I'm going to outline the shoulder blade, or the scapula, and then the humerus, which is going down there. Now this little thing here called the acromion, which is part of the shoulder blade, is our big problem as it meets this bone, the humerus. That's the major cause for a lot of pain right there for a lot of paddlers. And what happens is this thoracic spine, which I'm drawing again here, the more curved that is, the more it puts that shoulder blade tilting forward and then that shelf of bone or the acromion gets in the way of that humerus which I just highlighted. And when those two meet right here, that's when we get a little problem. There we go, I'm just circling. That's where most people in paddling get a lot of pain. Because if we put the muscles back, these are sort of, that's the deltoids. If we go underneath there, we cut those out. We can see underneath there, that's where the rotator cuff comes through and causes a lot of pain for people right in that spot. So what we want to do here is optimize our thoracic mobility into extension, which is where those green lines are there on the back. And secondly, what we want to do is increase the amount of strength that are the muscles that attach to our shoulder blade or our scapular stabilizers are they'll be able to hold that shoulder blade in the ideal position as we sort of hit into the catch and then pull the blade through the water. here we can see how he's sitting nice and upright his thoracic spines in extension and his shoulder blade is sitting comfortably on that thoracic spine 